Hey everybody, let's talk about what March has in store for us on the astrological front. I'm Kristen Redman and I am an astrological intuitive and we are going to be going over all of these things that are going to be making an impact for us. This is the last month of the astrological year and we move into the new one. So really right now what we're in is that phase of New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day, right? We are ready to purge what doesn't work for us. We're ready to make resolutions about the changes that we wanna see in our lives. And it's really amplified under the energy of the underlying current of Pluto going through Aquarius, right? This is a once in a lifetime thing. One of the biggest events of our lifetime, right? This 250 year cycle of Aquarius moving into or what Pluto moving into Aquarius, where it's bringing radical shifts and transformation on all fronts of everything from global all the way down to our own personal lives, really transforming to what is true and authentic to who we are now, right? Not the outdated beliefs are leaving, the outdated systems that don't work are starting to fall away. And we've been seeing that, right? As we've been watching Pluto move into Aquarius and bebop back and forth. So we have that undercurrent anyway of having this major push for shift and change. And in March, we're going in that area where we're moving into the eclipse season. And we are going into this time frame where we have all of this energy of new beginnings wanting to happen. That's what eclipses are in astrology. It's about new beginnings. And so what we want now is we're looking at this, what is best for me? What is true for me? What is authentic to me? And what do I need to let go of in order for me to really live this life that is really more fitting for who I am now? And so in this phase of March, we're really starting to have that brought to light. Things really come to light to us at the time of full moons. Full moons are when the sun and the moon are in complete opposition of one another. And so I like to say it's where that sun is shining a light on every crack and crevice of the moon. That sun is going to be different every month, right? Because it's going through a different astrological sign. So right now where this sun is at is in Pisces. This is spirituality. This is our higher self. This is our belief systems. This is our karmic debts. This is our past lives. And this is our trust in the universe and the trust in ourselves, but also our trust in the people that are around us and the communities that are around us. So we have that and it's shining a light over here, right? It's shining a light on all of that energy of everything that's happening. And so what we have is this energy of leading up to this full moon that happens on the 25th. We have that Pisces on everything I just said, right? It's going, 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 going. And then on the 25th, or actually, I'm sorry, on the 19th, that's when that spring equinox hits. The equinox is huge for us, right? Because this is really when that astrological new year begins is at the time of the equinox. And that's where we go from New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. And so what happens is then, not only are we doing that, the sun's moving into Aries. So we have the sun kind of shining a light already on all of our beliefs and what we want and what we need and what our soul is telling us that we need in our lives. Then it moves into Aries, where it's about action. It's not just about actualization from Pisces. It's about realization and making our feet move. It gives us the courage to get moving on these things. So here we go. On the 25th of March, we have that sun. We have that Aries sun shining a light on that Libra moon. And it's shining all the cracks and crevices on where there are issues. And Libra deals with our relationships. What is it that I want that is Aries in my relationship that's Libra? Where are the cracks and the crevices in that? And this can be relationships of all kinds, right? Of course, we have romantic relationships. That's going to be number one, right? We have our um, friendships that can fall into it too. Uh, we have the close one-on-one -on -one relationships that we have where maybe it's our clients and so that could be doctor patient, you know, therapist clients, those types of things as well, too. All of these relationships kind of come under the scrutiny of this full moon. And this full moon is really asking us, where is the balance? Where is the fairness? What can we do? And it's looking at it from both sides, right? It's saying, where might we be uh, making too many concessions 
in these relationships? Where are we giving up our needs a little bit too much? That's on one side of the scale, because Libra is the scales, right? We're looking at the balance. That's one side. But then on the other side, maybe it's a, this, the other side. This is the other person. This is you on the other side of the scale. Where is it that it's maybe you are overreacting? Maybe it's something where you are more focused on your needs than the needs of others. Everybody's situation is going to be different. What side of the scale are you falling on? And that's where this full moon on the 25th is going to be bringing that to light. It shines a light on that, right? And these eclipses that we have, this is the first eclipse of the year. This is the Libra eclipse of the year. This is where these things are. Like I always say, eclipses are billboards for the universe. So you're probably already seeing these signs of what it is that needs to shift, what needs to change, where the unbalance is on those scales, right? And what happens at the time of these equinoxes, usually two weeks beforehand, two weeks after at the equinox and at these full moons, it shows us what needs to shift what needs to change in order to bring these new beginnings. Because that's what we're doing, right? We're purging out the old. There is so much that's happening for all these changes that we were talking about with Pluto moving into Aquarius that we really got, we got to get rid of this old baggage in order to step into the new. And that takes a lot of courage. And that's what Aries is about and Mars, its ruling planet, is about. It's giving us that confidence and the courage to make these changes, to... um you know, and it takes a lot of courage, I think, to really look at situations for the reality that they are and own up to our own mistakes. And under the power of these full moon energy and these the equinox and the eclipse, I think we're going to have the ability to really see it with clarity and have that courage to move forward. So this is really a huge thing. Now, another thing, too, I'm seeing that's really a common theme with this year's equinox because of all the other astrological energies that are happening. It's saying, who are we letting go of? What are we letting go of? What are we walking away from that no longer fits? Remember, that's the Aquarius-Pluto situation anyway. What are we letting go of in order to move forward into this new realm? And that can be surrounding ourselves with new people and new communities. So I feel like this is a time frame where teamwork makes the dream work, <laughs> right? We're finding people that are more like-minded for what it is we're doing, whether that's work, whether that's um, relationships, friendships, maybe you're thinking of joining joining a new organization, a new church, whatever it might be. Everybody's situation is different, right? We are surrounding ourselves with communities that are a little bit more fitting. Maybe you're completely moving. <laughs> maybe you're really embracing the power of this first equinox in the astrological year by starting out fresh. That's the theme of March, is we are starting out fresh. Absolutely. So, Definitely a big thing. Uh, definitely a big thing for, for new starts, for sure. Um, we also have our fast-moving planets that are going through. We have Venus, the planet of love and money, moving into Pisces on March 12th. And then not too long thereafter, we have Mars, that planet that rules um, Aries, is also moving into Pisces. So we have this dreamy type of energy that's going to be going on, helping us to manifest what we want in love and money. And also kind of envisioning how we're going to make our feet move. That's what Mars does. It makes our feet move and Pisces helps us to dream. So we have that energy supporting us through this month as well. Really, those are the major things that are happening, but this is huge, right? Because here we are going into the new year. So what is it that you're dreaming for? What is it that you're wanting to change? What is it that you are wanting to bring into being? I think you're going to start getting a lot more insight on what that is and also how to get what that is that you want under the power of this energy moving forward. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your month and be sure to watch your specific sign for the month of March as well too. I have all of those linked, uh, the um, playlist link below here so you can watch how these uh this eclipse season is really going to impact you, right? And that's going to carry forward through the rest of the year. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.